the producers have spent a huge amount of money making the game look really good and sound really good. If you've got a good audio visual display, that's probably 80% of your enjoyment right there. Start off with the very basics, get a fantastic audio visual display because the producers have spent a huge amount of money making the game look really good and sound really good. If you've got a good audio visual display, that's probably 80% of your enjoyment right there. Then it's all to do with the ambience of the room, so uh, you know, lighting moods, you can get really cool, funky, dimmable LED uh, just to um, uh, enhance your gaming experience. You can get sort of Philips Hue type situations where the um, ambience and the colour of the room changes according to what's on the screen. Um, so you can use really cool lighting effects and cool designs within your room. Um, and of course it depends how many rooms you're talking about. So if that's like a, a bedroom and, and it, you know, you're the only person using it, everything's pretty much down to your taste and your lighting preferences. But if you've got a communal space like a large lounge, um, conservatory, you know, open plan dining area, um, then it really depends on the, uh, the look of the house and ultimately how the rest of the space is designed. So always start off with a really good audiovisual system and then you can work around it depending on the aesthetic of the rest of the home. Start off with a, a monitor and a sound bar and a subwoofer. I mean that's going to enhance your gaming from simply just watching it on the, the, the TV and using the TV speakers. It's going to be a lot better than that. But depending on how serious of a gamer you are and how immersed you want to get, then you need to get the other bits of equipment that, that go with it. So, you know, any of the Call of Duty games or GTA, for instance, these are encoded in surround sound. If you really want to get the best out of the game, then you need to get some fairly basic equipment to reproduce what's been recorded on the tracks. And again, you know, starter systems, probably talking three to four thousand pounds to begin with. Um, and then it just goes up depending on the quality um, and how large the space is in your room. Um, it just goes without saying the larger the room, uh, the more costly things become to get accurate sound reproduction that's enjoyable.